Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Hey, I'm TV. Hey. Welcome. Nice. So, uh, here, here's where we live. This is, this is where we stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, obviously have, have a good semester of school. I think Adam and I can both attest to this. We probably need to clean our room a little more. Uh, maybe that could be my, uh, my New Year's resolution there. After a long winter break hiatus, UND Hockey returned to the Ralph to face the U.S. under-18 team in an exhibition matchup. With the knowledge of the U18 squad taking down the number one ranked St. Cloud State Huskies two nights earlier, the Fighting Hawks knew they needed to come out strong. Brett Gardner got things underway less than four minutes into the game on the power play. Five more players would find themselves putting tallies on the board for North Dakota. Big shot, Roche save, rebound, they score! I think Ludwig Hoff knocked it in. He did on, when he was falling On down. his knees. Yep. Shot away, now centers to Casey Johnson, who shoots and scores! King fought for the puck, got it back by the net, sent it out to Johnson. I just noticed in the week of practice there was a freshness mentally and physically uh, with, with guys like Mishmash and, and Adams and Janet Tween and uh, that, that, that they seemed revitalized and, uh, and, and I, I think for the most part our whole group was like that and I think one of the big keys tonight too was you know, you know, the power play getting one right away. Our first power play attempt we got one to get us going in the game and that was huge. Janet Tween in center, and Adam scores! Janet Tween in, took a look, saw Colin Adams coming out of the slot. UND's goaltending was also on display, giving all three goalies time in the game, blocking all but two shots from the U18 team in the 6-2 exhibition victory for the Fighting Hawks. I mean, obviously, you know, the first half, you know, personally probably didn't go the way I uh, had wanted it to and, you know, left me a, left a little bad taste in my mouth. So, you know, having a good first outing is, um, you know, definitely a step forward and, you know, hopefully uh, there's more, more to come. After the midseason break and the new year, it's time for the team to refocus heading into the second half of the season. I think we talked about it. I think uh, the biggest thing is we just every weekend counts now. It's the second half. It's uh, it's big. We need as many points as we can for the NCHC and uh, for the pairwise. So yeah, every weekend's huge, and uh, we got to take it one week at a time. Um, I think 
just um, our coaches were talking about setting goals earlier this week, and I think uh, it's really important um, to do that because you know you, you have something to, to push yourself towards, and and um, you know we have a we have a common goal here on our team, and you know to to raise a banner at the end of the year, and uh, I think um, that's kind of everyone's kind of goal for the end of the year. I think obviously it's it's big uh, to have goals, obviously, but um, I think for us it's it's kind of just coming to the rink every single day and, and doing the right things and and all those goals and, and things that we want to do will take care of itself, kind of thing. Um, I think obviously we want to have a better better second half than than the first and, and end the season strong. Setting goals or making New Year's resolutions for the rest of the season and in each of the players' own lives is an important step in returning for this next part of the season. I didn't have maybe a New Year's resolution, I would say. I think more just, you know, coming into the second half, uh, you know, and, and take another step um, for myself and, and for our team. Uh, you know, I don't know if I set uh, a New Year's resolution to say though. Um, personally, I just want to, the goal for me is to play every game just as hard as I can. And uh, personally, just uh, want to be able to go out there and uh, contribute for the team as best as I can. Um. Well, I think I think just continuing like, staying in the lineup and and uh, contributing. Um, I don't really have too many New Year's resolutions, but um, I guess hockey-wise, um, just having a good second half and, and uh, working hard every day. Uh, I think it's always important to set your goals high. Uh, I think it's also good to set them achievable. You got to have something that you, you look forward to and something that you strive to do every day. And it can be as simple as just something you do on a daily basis or as simple as, or as complex as uh, something you want to do in the, in the future ways. And for us, that's going to be probably uh, trying to get to the national tournament and maybe uh, win a national championship. The Fighting Hawks will return to non-conference play this weekend and head to Buffalo, New York to take on Canisius. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about them. I know that their, you know, their ranking probably doesn't show, you know, how good they are. Um, these are two huge, huge games for us uh, in the pairwise, and um, you know, I think we just have to do our job and, and everything else will take care of itself. So um, obviously, I, I don't know a whole lot about them, but. Um, I think it'll be a good weekend for sure. Uh, they're, they're just a hard-working team. Um, when it comes down to this weekend, I think it's going to come down to the way we play, and we got to start the second half the right way. This is our uh, last non-conference games, and they're huge, and so uh, it'll be good to start our second half of the regular season uh, off right.